I'm Kent. I'm Sophie. And I'm Taylor. And today we're going to talk about our big idea, Platform Apartments. So I start with a story. Uh, there's a man from Reno, Nevada. His name was Million Dollar Murray. He got that name because over the course of 10 years, through hospital visits, jail time, other services such as temporary housing and other benefits um, for homeless people, he allotted over a million dollars worth of money that had to be bared by taxpayers and by the state. And he eventually died homeless. So our big idea is to do a more temp to get rid of temporary housing and do a more permanent, sustainable housing for homeless to help combat this so that way there's not someone with a million dollars secured that's still dying homeless regardless. So um, a big problem is spacing. There's approximately 450 homeless people in Evansville on any given night. And Evansville Rescue Mission only has 202 beds. So our big idea is to buy, buy an old apartment complex such as the one down there. It's Jefferson Square Apartments. It's a multi-family community. And we want to renovate it and open it for use of homeless families. Uh, and Sophie will kind of talk about the program that we want to run to the apartment. So we will have a very thorough application process along with a drug test for every family member. Um, once they're accepted, they will have a monthly drug test. Um, it'll be a one-year program. Um, we want to do a checkpoint system. Um, so we'll bring in a budget advisor and a counselor and they will set individual plans for each family. Um, this will include the checkpoints, um, the meetings they'll have, and their end goal. Um, we want to include USI um, with the career services and internships with their resumes and interview help. Um, a DECO staffing agency. Uh, we will need to um, incorporate a daycare for the working um, parents. Also, they're allowed to miss checkpoints before they have to completely reapply and start over. So um, we're looking at this to be state funded. And currently, states are wanting to invest in a more permanent solution rather than these temporary housings that aren't breaking this cycle. And also, um, there are plenty of grants that we can apply for um, to get assistance. Like Taylor said earlier, there are 450 homeless people on any given night in Evansville alone. Um, one third of all visits to the emergency room are made by people struggling with chronic homelessness. 80% of these emergency room visits um, are made by struggling people with homelessness and it's for an illness that could have been treated with um, preventative care and permanent housing um, like our apartments would be. So similar efforts have been made um, in the U.S., but nothing quite as permanent as um, we are looking to provide, which Kent will talk about next. Um, so as Sophie said, there's been similar uh, ideas. Amazon has one in Seattle. Uh, they were, it's a they renovated a old building um, that's connected to their building that serves as a homeless shelter. It runs off a point system to help people um, buy things in their store and uh, accumulate points throughout the uh, housing complex. Um, to get better benefits for them. Um, it's run by a local nonprofit, Seattle, Seattle Mayor's Office, um, and they help with job applications and scheduling interviews um, to help them get jobs. Uh, however, there's no time limit, and that's the biggest uh, difference between ours and their solution. Um, ours, our program is designed to help people get out of homelessness and move on to lives of their own, whereas this, pro this program just keeps people um, in the housing and gives them a permanent place to stay without helping them uh, move and break the cycle. So that's pretty much the uh, uh, basic idea of our uh, value proposition. Um, it's to help people uh, get permanently off the streets and help break the cycle. Unlike Amazon, uh, this is more of a permanent um, uh, solution uh, to that problem. And our value proposition lies right in the heart of our business model canvas, um, which we'll get into now. Um, so as uh, we've mentioned, our partners, um, Evans of Rescue Mission, uh, they think that this is a really good idea, um, and she'll explain um, a little more on that in just a minute. Um, Echo Housing Group will help us with low-income housing um, when people are ready to move on for our program. The city and state governments, uh, we'd like to pitch this idea to them uh, to see the funding that we could get uh, to help fund this program as um, it's clear that it's very beneficial and will really help um, this problem. Um, USI Career Services will be a big partner too, uh, as they'll help us with scheduling interviews and the interview process and that getting people ready for jobs. And a DECO staffing agency will help with um, getting people jobs as well. Our key activities will be our program um, itself to help break that cycle, uh, designing a website to help people get an idea of what the program is about and how they can get started with it, fundraising and city and state buy-ins. Obviously, um, we could apply for grants, but we think that fundraising, um, 
doing fundraising um, will just help us even more. Um, and then renovations and management of the complex is obviously key to keep it a friendly environment for the people living there. And our key resources is our uh, apartment complex, our partners as I just um, described, and a little more on that government help. Um, we'd like to be a part of the Evansville Bike Share Program um, to help get uh, a bike spot set up at the, at the complex um, to give people a uh, easy way to get around town to their job or to wherever they might be going. And a bus route too would be very beneficial to help people get from point A to point B, um, get to the grocery, back to the job, and back to home again. So our main um, customer relationship is with Tracy Gorman, who is the CEO of the Evansville Rescue Mission. We spoke with him and he said that with good funding and a solid plan, um, our idea could absolutely work here in Evansville. Um, he said that people have tried this in the past, but it hasn't worked out because they've lacked a solid strategy, which he believes that we have. And he thinks that the Evansville Rescue Mission could partner with something like this because we have very similar goals. So we want to um, get this out there on bus benches, Evansville um, homeless shelters, hospitals, TV and computer ads, and we want to um, make our own websites and our own social media accounts. So for customer segments, um, homeless families would obviously benefit greatly from this because it could help them into more sustainable and permanent uh, living. And then the state of Indiana, because we can decrease the amount of money that has to be worked by taxpayers in the state. And the same with the city of Evansville, you know we do it in Evansville, we can do it in Fort Wayne, do it in Bloomington, do it in Indianapolis, wherever. And then our partners, I'm um, obviously benefit by getting getting their services out there to help these people um, move move forward with their lives. Um, so for the financials, it's an average of $40,000 is spent um, on jail time, temporary housing, and medical expenses per year per homeless individual. So 450 in Evansville, if you take just 50, just one ninth of that 450, and say that those 50 reach that $40,000 of average cost, that's $2 million in one year that Evansville is paying out for these homeless people through taxpayers and other stuff like that. The cost of the apartment complex is a little over $1.1 million, so in one year, we easily, potentially easily pay for itself. And permanent supportive housing leads to uh, healthcare costs reduced by 59%, Emergency room costs have increased by 61%, and general inpatient hospitalizations are decreased by 77%. So there are a lot of benefits to permanent supportive housing. Um, so platform apartments, our big goal is to transition these homeless people into a more permanent, uh, sustainable living, and to save the taxpayers in the cities, city of Evansville money, and to just lend a helping hand to those who are down right now.